What up, y'all? Mad Chiller FPV here, bringing you another quick how-to video. Today, we're going to discuss how to set up motor output limiting and automatic profile selection in EMU flight. It's very straightforward, simple to do. It breathes new life into your old 4S quads if they're 6S capable, but your motor KV is too high or you don't want to try to deal with tuning high KV motors on 6S. This, this little uh, how-to will show you how to set up output limiting, so therefore you can switch between your new 6S packs and your old 4S packs. So with that, let's go. So here we go. We've got uh, Emi Flight up in the top right, and we've got my Korea Ria Talon on the top left. I built this Talon several years ago, but when I built it, I had the foresight to make all the components 6S capable, although my motors are 2600 kV, and I was running 4S at the time, but I knew I was going to make the switch to 6S, so I made sure all my components were 6S ready, aside from the motor KV. Um, this is really important. I can't stress this enough. You need to make sure that all of your uh, components are 6S ready. You need to make sure that your ESCs can handle 6S. You need to make sure that your flight controller is wired properly for 6S. You need to make sure your camera, VTX, everything is is set up properly on the back ends and even though your motors may have been rated for 4s and they're high kv this this demo is going to show you how to set it up so you can uh run both 6s and 4s on the quad without smoking your motors and even set up uh, different tunes as needed so it's really sick and it's really straightforward guys as you can see i've got my talon here and it's plugged into emu Excuse me. Um, it's important that you're running uh, the latest config, which is 2.12, and you are running a 020 firmware. If you're not sure how to, to flash your firmware, I'm just going to show you really quickly. You're just going to pop over into update firmware. This is a Helio board, so I'm going to go to the Helio targets. Helio Spring, and what you want to make sure of here, guys, is is out of the box. If you don't have uh, show unstable releases, you're going to see uh, version one. So you just want to make sure you tap on that show unstable releases, show release and release candidates, and then boom, here you here you go. You're going to have version two RC one Helio Spring. So you're just going to go ahead and flash that up. Now I can't stress enough: always full chip erase. So once you're up to date, you're just going to go ahead and connect to your system. And first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come into power and battery and just make sure that you've saved a minimum of 4.4 on your maximum cell voltage. And then once you do that, if you have PIDs and rates and whatnot that you want to set up, go ahead and fire those off. Just go ahead and set it up if you have an idea where you normally are. Um, rate profile, da 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 PID settings. And then if you, uh, you can actually easily copy your PID profile to the various other profiles as needed. So once you have all that ready, you're just gonna pop over into CLI. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just type profile zero. So that is actually profile one in the PIDs tab. Uh, for whatever reason, both most firmwares work this way, but you are on profile zero in CLI, but you're in fact working with profile one in your PIDs tab. And then the next thing you want to do is get auto. And what's going to pop up here, you're going to see auto profile cell count. So you're going to get your auto profile cell count. And in my case, I've already set this up. So mine says auto profile cell count equals six. So for you, I like to set mine up so that the 6S profile is my first one. And then the 4S, the older profile, is my second one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type set auto and then again you're going to have auto profile cell count and i'm just going to type equals six i'm going to hit that okay so after you set your auto cell count to six for 6s you're going to want to go in here and type get motor and on the pop-up here you should have motor output limit you're going to hit that Mine is currently set to 70. Okay, so why is that? Well, I'm running a 2600 kV motor. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to 
grab a calculator, and you're going to want to determine what 6S KV you're uh, attempting to emulate. In my case, I was considering 1750 for a racing setup. I might go a little higher, but I'm going to start here. It's a good safe starting point, so I'm going to type in 1750 on my calculator. I'm going to divide that by 2600, which is my current motor KV, and that's going to give me a percentage, 0.67. So just type times 100, and that's going to – 67 is your percentage. So what I decided to do is just round, round up to 70. So I'm probably a little closer to 1,800 kV, but, you know, whatever happens. We'll see. So, boom, there you go. So once you have that number, you're just going to go in here, and you're going to type set motor, and motor output limit will pop up, and you'll type equals 70 or whatever your number is, and hit enter. I'm not going to do that. Mine's already set. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up, set it up so that if you plug in a 4S pack, um, that it's going to switch profiles. So as I've said before, we are currently on profile zero. I'm just going to type that in again. But what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to type profile one. And in this case, now you want to get auto. Auto profile cell count, hit enter. And I've already got mine set to four, as I've already set this up. So again, you're gonna wanna set that by typing set auto, auto, self, auto profile cell count, and you're gonna type equals four, and you're gonna hit enter. And once you've done that, you're now going to double check your motor output limiting for this profile. So you're gonna type get motor, Motor output limit, and you're going to want to make sure that your motor output limit in this profile is still set to 100. If it is not, it's very simple. Just type set motor, and then type equals 100, and hit enter. Once you're all done with that, you want to make sure you type save. Once you've saved it, your FC will reboot, and it's going to pop you back into uh, Emu Flight here. <laughs> Excuse me, and... Now you can test it. So what's important, a couple things I want to mention really quick before I go in there. Do not, whatever you do, do not come into rate profile selection and set any sort of throttle limiting. Uh, that is the incorrect way of doing that. You want to, it will limit your throttle resolution, which is, you know, throttle controls everything, especially for racers. So you do not want to affect the feel of your throttle control. The proper way to do this is in fact, to go into CLI and set up your output limiting, as I've shown you and uh, uh, set it up against your different pro profiles. So that way, again, you can't s plug in a 4S pack on a 6S, a 6S PID profile or vice versa. You, and probably more importantly, you don't want to plug in a 6S pack on a 4S profile because your PIDs are potentially going to be much higher and you could see a flyaway or some other erratic behavior. So can't stress that enough. Make sure you do this in CLI. So once you've done that, you can confirm everything's working. Right now I'm in rate profile three. I'm in profile two. I, I got my quad over here and it has no power. So profile two, I had set up for 4S. So I want to make sure that it works on a 6S first. So I'm taking my trusty pyro drone pack here, and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Plugging it in. Okay, I've got a 6S pack here. And so you can see, I'm just going to pull my screen cap a little bit more full screen really quick here. So as you can see, it's automatically changed to profile one up here, and my whatever PIDs I would have set for my 6S profile are, gonna, are automatically going to be selected. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug. Okay, so once you've confirmed that profile switching for 6S is working, you want to test your 4S profile. So you're going to unplug your, um, your pack. And as you can see, you're still left on profile one, which was your 6S profile. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a 4S pack here. And as you can see, I've automatically changed to profile two. So whatever PID setup I have running here will automatically get recalled in this setup.
we're going to go back to, and then we're just going to just go back to profile one by plugging in our 6S again so you can see that. Auto switching. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this smaller so we can see the actual quad. So again, this is a Pyro 6S pack here plugged in. And then again, I'm going to switch back to 4S. And bang, guys, it's, it's that simple. So this will prevent you from plugging in a 6S pack on a 4S PID pr profile, and then you arm the quad and it goes crazy because your PIDs are way too high. It just It's a nice safety measure in those regards. So when you plug in a 6S pack, it's going to automatically bring up your 6S PIDs, and then when you want to fly your old packs, it's going to bring up your... Uh, 4S PIDs and that profile. It's super easy. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash the subscribe button and give us a like. And I hope this helped you guys get this set up. And it, again, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Peace.